Do you prefer a 2 burn laser vomit or would you rather go for a 90 damage high heat alpha? Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering. Today's mech is the Kodiak 1, a community build by Zweig and this one is gonna run triple heavy large lasers and 6 ER mediums. You can do 1-2 left side right side or you can alpha strike for a full 90 damage. It's gonna be very spicy. Let's see what it can do. Let's go! Terms is going to be, be being able to hit anything. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Don't push up that hill, you're going to die. Atlas, back up. I will go here. Make my way forward. Jesus, dude, where are you playing from? Look, you're not letting that change fire. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? The other clip in the wall? That sucks, I'm not falling down. Alright. Alright. Target spotted! I think I know where Officer K got his microphone. It's still got a swastika on it. Wer macht Surplus? Target spotted. I'm kidding, Target of course. They had spotted. way better microphones back in the day. Target spotted. Dude, my guys are melting. What is that? Acquired. Target spotted. Need assistance. Alright. Target spotted. Target destroyed. Got a bit of a burn in there. Should I even push around here? If I don't, I'm gonna be alone. The rotator potato is strong right now. Target acquired. Hi friend. I'm sorry, I'm not as stupid as these guys. I actually have situational awareness. I'm still looking at you. There we go, battle masters minus one. Heat level critical. Hello there. Won't be able to hit him from here unfortunately. Plus I'm gonna get overrun by these dudes now. There's a clip getting stuck on sticky corners. Nice. Now, I will give a King's Ransom for a fucking rearview mirror, so I know when I'm past this building. Why did you not die? Target destroyed. There we go. New target acquired. Target spotted. Target acquired. 
Center torso critical damage. Oh, he got me. Four guys in the end was one too much. Two kills, two solo kills, three KDDs, 700 done, 700 taken. GG. Everything is split right now. He's not wrong, but I can't get back there in time anymore. So I, I can't get a good angle on this dude. Yeah, I'm like... Mm, just wasted my cool shots for that. Okay. Target spotted. Not Jesus. good. It's up here, my be back. What am I? It's this movement. What is this movement game? I was literally sliding on the outside and falling down. New target what the hell? Acquired. Heat level critical. Target spotted. Almost at him. New target acquired. Need assistance. New target acquired. Just gonna stand behind that thing. I'm not moving. I'm dying to my teammate. Destroyed. Classic. Need assistance. Can't hit this. Can't fight around those pillows. It's impossible for me to fight around those pillars. Target spotted. I can't shoot the hell from here because I'm pretty low. We're just turning from me. He sees me anyway. Let's see if we can get a shot in from here. Nope. Again. Pillar. This blocks everything. Need assistance. Destroyed. Probably like a four over here. Target acquired. I'll be seeing this dude before he dies, I feel. Target acquired. Oh no, acquired. he's just he's just yoloing him to my whole team. Okay. Alright then. Goodbye. Destroyed. Special move achieved. Oh, lol. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Those legs don't belong up there. <laughs> I thought the match was over already. Oh, I got two kills and 700 damage. Not too bad, but on a map like this, it's really hard to play. Like all these uh, pillars and whatnot, you just can't, you just cannot shoot around them. Well, I would say that was a solid performance. Here is the build on screen, guys. We're using an XL350 engine on the clan side. Single heat sinks throughout the mech, no endo steel, no ferrofibrous, standard heat sinks, nothing crazy going on there. And uh, we have two heavy larges in the left arm, one heavy large in the right arm. We fill all the other available slots for energy weapons with EM medium lasers. And then we fill every single other point in the mech with standard heat sinks. We have a total of 31 standard heat sinks. That is quite the heat reservoir. And that also means that, of course, if we stagger our shots, we can do two full salvos for a total of 180 laser vomit damage. And if we alpha strike, well, then we can still do a staggered salvo afterwards. If we don't incur the ghost heat from the heavy larges, it is all no problem. So I would say in case of in the case of Building a mech that has a 
deadly, very strong laser vomit. Yeah, this definitely fits the bill. All in all, fun mech to play. Almost 57 kph of speed. The crooks that we're getting in this mech are interesting, by the way. Uh, we would get either medium laser heat skill plus two or medium pulse laser heat skill plus two, but we're not making use of any of those. So the only thing we're benefiting from here for the crooks is the extra armor throughout the mech. And that is basically it. That's all that this Kodiak one really does. Of course, you've got armored weapons. That means shooting down your visa and whatnot is no problem. Also tracking light mechs or whatever is also not a problem. Just unlock your arms. Most of your weapons, basically all but one ear medium, are in your arms anyway. It is an interesting build. I haven't seen many of these run around in my time in MechWoy Online. So, guys, if this is interesting to you, give it a try. See if you can bump it up to 1,000 damage. I think it's possible. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun. And people will not expect it. They will expect Dakakuti X or some other weird kind of build, maybe with a Gauss Rifle and whatnot. They definitely will not expect a laser Wombit. Cody X, is it going to be competitive? Probably not. Is it going to be fun? Well... I had my fun. I'm sure you will have yours as well. Why did I choose to go Neon Green Kodiak? Nobody knows. What I do know, though, is that I'm extremely grateful to all my amazing supporters because, hey, without them, this would not be possible. This is my full-time job after all. If you had there a lot of support yet and would like to say thanks for the videos, then please have a look at the video description. You will find links to my Patreon, my merch store, all the hardware that I'm currently using. You can get that on Amazon. Or, of course, you can become a channel member or send a super thanks right here on YouTube. Thank you.